Welcome to our video on cultural history and the role of migration. In this three-part series, we will explore the fascinating connection between migration and the development of diverse cultures throughout history. Join us as we delve into the impact of migration on societies, traditions, and the exchange of ideas. To understand the role of migration and cultural history, we must first define what culture is. Culture encompasses the beliefs, customs, arts, and social institutions of a particular group of people. It is shaped by various factors, including geography, history, and most importantly, the movement of people. Throughout history, migration has been a fundamental aspect of human existence. People have always moved from one place to another, whether it be due to environmental changes, economic opportunities, or conflicts. These movements have had a profound impact on the development and evolution of cultures around the world. Let's take a journey through time and explore some significant examples of migration and its influence on cultural history. In ancient times, civilizations such as the Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans experienced migration on a large scale. Conquests, trade routes, and colonization led to the mixing of different cultures, resulting in the exchange of knowledge, technologies, and artistic style. One of the most famous examples of cultural exchange through migration is the Silk Road. This network of trade routes connected the East and West, facilitating the exchange of goods, ideas, and religions between Asia, Europe, and Africa. During the Middle Ages, Europe witnessed significant migration movements. The Viking raids, the Crusades, and the Mongol invasions all brought different cultures into contact with one another, leading to the blending of traditions and the emergence of new cultural practices. The age of exploration in the 15th and 16th centuries marked a new era of migration. European explorers such as Christopher Columbus and Vasco da Gama ventured into unknown territories, encountering indigenous populations and establishing colonies. This encounter between different cultures shaped the course of history and had lasting effects on language, religion, and social structures. In more recent times, waves of immigration have shaped the cultural landscapes of various countries. The United States, for example, experienced significant migration from Europe, Asia, and Latin America, resulting in a rich tapestry of traditions, languages, and cuisines. Today, Globalization has further accelerated the movement of people, ideas, and cultural practices. Advances in transportation and communication have made it easier for individuals to migrate and maintain connections with their home cultures, leading to the creation of multicultural society. As we can see, migration has played a pivotal role in shaping cultural history. It has allowed for the exchange of ideas, the blending of traditions and the formation of diverse societies. In the next segment of this series, we will explore the positive and negative impacts of migration on cultural heritage. Join us as we continue our exploration of cultural history and the role of migration. In the previous segment, we explored the role of migration in shaping cultural history. In this segment, we will examine the positive and negative impacts of migration on cultural heritage. Migration can have both positive and negative effects on cultural heritage. On the positive side, migration can lead to the enrichment and diversification of cultural practices. The exchange of ideas, traditions and values can result in the emergence of new cultural forms and the preservation of endangered ones. For example, the migration of African slaves to the Americas resulted in the creation of new musical genres such as jazz, blues, and reggae. These genres blended African rhythms and melodies with European harmonies and instruments, resulting in a unique and vibrant cultural expression. Migration can also contribute to the preservation of cultural heritage. When people migrate, they often bring with them their cultural practices and traditions, which can help to maintain and transmit them to future generations. However, migration can also have negative effects on cultural heritage. 
when people migrate, they may face challenges in maintaining their cultural practices and traditions in a new environment. This can lead to the loss of cultural identity and the erosion of cultural heritage. Assimilation is one of the negative effects of migration on cultural heritage. When people migrate to a new country, they may feel pressure to assimilate to the dominant culture, leading to the loss of their own cultural practices and traditions. Another negative effect of migration on cultural heritage is cultural appropriation. This occurs when people from one culture adopt elements of another culture without proper understanding or respect for their meaning and significance. This can lead to the commodification and exploitation of cultural heritage. To mitigate the negative effects of migration on cultural heritage, preservation efforts are essential. Governments, NGOs and communities can work together to promote the preservation and transmission of cultural practices and traditions. This can include the establishment of cultural centers, the documentation of cultural practices and the promotion of intercultural dialogue. In conclusion, migration has both positive and negative impacts on cultural heritage. While it can lead to the enrichment and diversification of cultural practices, it can also result in the loss and erosion of cultural identity. To ensure the preservation of cultural heritage, we must work together to promote intercultural understanding and respect. In the next segment of this series, we will explore the impact of migration on language and literature. Welcome to the third segment of our series on cultural history and the role of migration. In this segment, we will delve into the impact of migration on language and literature. Language is a fundamental aspect of culture, serving as a means of communication and a repository of collective knowledge. When people migrate, they bring their languages with them, leading to the spread and evolution of linguistic diversity. Migration can result in the blending of languages, leading to the emergence of new dialects or creole languages. For example, the migration of French colonizers to the Caribbean resulted in the development of creole languages which combine elements of French, African languages and indigenous languages. On the other hand, migration can also lead to the preservation of languages that are endangered in their home countries. When people migrate, they often maintain their native languages as a way to preserve their cultural identity and pass it on to future generations. Literature is another realm deeply influenced by migration. When people migrate, they bring their stories, experiences and perspectives which can enrich the literary landscape of their new home and contribute to a global literary dialogue. Migrant literature is a genre that explores the experiences of migrants and their descendants. It provides a platform for voices that are often marginalized and offers insights into the complexities of migration, identity and belonging. Many notable authors have emerged from migrant backgrounds using their writing to explore themes of cultural identity and displacement. One such example is the American author Jonot Dars, whose works often delve into the experiences of Dominican immigrants and their struggles to navigate between two cultures. Migration also influences the literary traditions of both the home country and the host country. Writers often draw inspiration from their cultural heritage while incorporating elements of their new environment, resulting in a fusion of literary styles and themes. Translation plays a crucial role in the dissemination of migrant literature. Translating works from one language to another allows for the sharing of diverse perspectives and the promotion of cross-cultural understanding. However, migration also presents challenges for language and literature. Language barriers can hinder communication and limit access to literary works, particularly for migrants who are not proficient in the language of their new country. Cultural assimilation can also impact language and literature. Migrants may feel pressure to adopt the dominant language and literary traditions, leading to the loss of their native language and the erasure of their cultural heritage. In conclusion, migration has a profound impact on language and literature. It leads to the spread of linguistic diversity, the emergence of new literary voices, and the fusion of literary traditions. 
However, it also presents challenges such as language barriers and cultural assimilation. In the final segment of this series, we will explore the enduring legacy of migration on cultural identity and the importance of embracing diversity.